Vince, are you in Chicago right now? No, I'm, right, I'm in California currently. Where are you at in the city? I'm in Streeterville. I, I look out, I'm at Lake Point Tower. Nice, dude. Yeah, so good to see you guys. Congratulations on this. Uh, always good to talk to you. I, I know sometimes the downside of, of doing a movie that has a really cool, interesting idea or trope to it is that everyone gives you sort of a, the same question or a variation. I know you're probably getting 10,000 body swap questions. So I try to come up with one that you haven't heard yet. And if you, if you have, feel free, please make fun of me for it. But I do love this idea of body swapping with someone who you don't really want to body swap with. And you guys have both played such interesting, complicated, layered characters over your career and your filmography who is the character you've played that you would least want to swap with oh gosh i'd have to say the butcher he's a terrible guy yeah i wouldn't want to be the butcher either 100 percent the butcher everyone else it's that's, kind of fun to be for a day that's Not fair vince you you would be uh, norman bates you'd be okay with that no that, i mean any of those kind of like darker stuff i think the fun of an actor is it's fun to explore that and make believe for a period of time but if you're mm -hmm. really switching bodies i don't think that would be a fun headspace to be in at all i i grew up on these movies i loved watching these movies as a kid and whenever i tell people that that i grew up on the freddies and the jasons and the michaels i always get two reactions i either get oh my god that's awesome me too or like dude what's wrong with you why would you grow up on movies like that where do you guys fall on sort of the like the growing up on horror movies and slasher movies I liked horror movies, but I was the kid who'd kind of get pressured to go and then it would bother me for days afterwards. It would, my imagination was pretty strong. So I would be like wanting my sister to take the, you know, the puppet out of her rocking chair so I could, I could not see it through my, my crack in my door. But, but I like, what I like with this movie is, and Chris Landon, it's very hard to do, but if you look at Happy Death Day, it can be really funny and self-aware and also the kills are really cool. There's some great kills in the movie. So it was fun to be a part of something that was kind of, um, you know, having a lot of both genres successfully. I thought you were going to say you grew up on like Freaky Friday and Hot Chick, but, you know, different, different vibe. Different, Definitely not. Different. <laughs> nope, different. Because that was me. That's what I did. Those, those stuck with me. So I That makes much more sense. Like all of those combined. So I feel like when people watch this movie, I hope it sticks with them, like what you're talking about. I don't know. Don't you think it kind of had that vibe of those movies? Like, I don't know what it is, but it just felt like that to me. Yeah. Whenever I watch these movies, though, like I said, it's because I am such a big fan. I always think that like I, I know myself well enough and I know that I, I would not make it to the end. I'm not like the final girl, as they call it. Like I would be killed probably somewhere like at the end of the, th of the first act. Where do you guys feel like would you make it all the way through? Do you think you'd be killed? So like how long would you survive in a horror movie? I can't even make it through watching a whole horror movie without covering my eyes. <laughs> and being dragged to the theater too. Like, that's just who I am. So no, I think I would just lay down and die. <laughs> it wouldn't even be like a great death scene. You'd just be like, just just, just take it, yeah. just go, just go. No. Vince, what about you? I have to think I could make it to the end. I'd have to go in, I'd have to go in with that belief, right? right. I got to figure that, that, there's, that I'm gonna be there when, when the sun parts, right? Right before- That's the usually end. the guy who dies first. Yeah, I don't know. It, it could go that way, but I can't, I can't, I can't assume I have to go into, I have to play to win. Fair enough. Fair enough. And speaking of play to win, uh, Vince, our bears did not look great last night, man. Uh, where do you, do you, do we, do we go back to Mitch? Do we give Foles another shot? What are you, what are you feeling? You know, it's been a fun year to watch. The games have been close and they, they're still five and two. So the offense needs a little more time to click. And it's, it's, a, it's a strange choice because you know, they went with Foles and he's had some really good moments. And then he's had some, the offense in general, I should say, have had moments that are challenging. But, you know, I, I like what the team looks like. I'd like to see the offense get a little more synchronicity, but it's fun. They're a fun team to watch. What is scarier, this movie or uh, the Bears O-line? <laughs> I think this movie's way scarier. <laughs> Fair enough. Guys, I, I thank you so much for your time. It's good to talk to you. Vince, I think you're going to be on my podcast in about an hour or so. So we're going to get to talk again and we're getting a little bit nerdy about the filmmaking stuff. Seriously, guys, I love both of you and I love you both in this movie. So congratulations and hope to talk to you guys again soon. Thank you. Great so talking much. to you, Jake. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Bye. my friend. Bye, guys. Where we're going, we don't need roads.